Her 22-year marriage didn't survive Donald Trump. When her husband revealed to her last year that he was only considering voting for Trump, Gail McCormick fell out of love. He didn't even end up voting for Trump. But as they say, it's the thought that counts. They divorced. She's just one of millions of Americans who are overwhelmed because of the Trump presidency. But it doesn't have to be that way. Mashwell has published a list of what to do if you're overwhelmed by a Trump presidency. Let's look. One, you only need one breaking news notification, not 12. I totally agree with that. Two, read news sources that aren't designed to give you a heart attack. Or oh, I'll go one better. Stop having heart attacks over the news. <laughs> Three, eat whatever the hell you want because F it. I've always said that. <laughs> Four, try to separate fear from reality. Now, that is a hard thing to do in today's world of fake news. But if you adhere to steps one through three, you're going to be okay. Five, set a realistic, measurable goal for the number of phone calls you can make to your representatives per week. Yeah, I'd suggest rounding that out to a nice, healthy number like zero. Six, remember, you do have leaders in government who are standing up for you. Watch everything Maxine Waters does. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm beginning to suspect that this article was written by someone who I do not agree with politically. What should I do? Throw a tantrum? Write a letter? No. I should do nothing. I should ignore that point and move on with my life. And isn't it amazing? Even though me and this author are polar opposites, obviously, we agree on five of six of the things you can do to remain happy and healthy in Trump's America. You see, those McCormicks didn't need to get divorced. They could have compromised. How about this? I suggest alternating waters. Maxine during the week, uh, Jesse on the weekends. <laughs> Harrison? Yeah. People don't agree, but they don't have to freak out about it. Look, we, I don't think we agree politically, but we're best chums. We're besties, absolutely. I think my photograph was <laughs> on your mantle for years, years, right? We've hung out. I mean, we have a good time. We've worked comedy clubs together. and we've We're cuddled. We're we haven't done that. But we've had... Only on the road. Our <laughs> secret. <laughs> Harrison. <laughs> like Jack Kerouac up in here. But look, the, the you know, people getting divorced, I, it's, yeah. it's hysteria, is it not? I mean, she lasted 22 years, which is longer than any of Trump's three marriages. So she beat him on that. Oh, well, so wait a minute. Are you suggesting... That she wanted out anyway. She's using Trump as an excuse. Yes. Wow. Oh, he didn't even vote for I him. That. that that was that was the part where I was kind of because I've not gone on dates with people because we I didn't want to have a fight on every date. But like, he didn't vote for him. So what is the what is this fight over? Oh, that she he said, thought about it for a second. She said just the idea, Lori, the idea that yeah. he would be. Excuse. Thinking of supporting. What do you excuse. think it is? Tell I me, think tell she me. wanted him out of the bedroom. She was tired of the snoring and what, pro probably are. wanted her own, her own bathroom as well. That was it. Oh. I mean, 22 years is like, you want your own bedroom. You want your, I've probably been married longer than all of you people here. Look, you want I, your own space sometimes. I, I understand <laughs> that that, I, that may be the case, but I don't know. Michael, these, the anti Trump hysteria. It's, it runs deep. But you, you've is, seen it. This is not unique to anti Trump. Like, a lot of people are married to some insufferable shrew who thinks that your role as her spouse is to do whatever she says and kowtow to her. There's plenty of Republican families where the woman wears the pants. So, at a certain point, he's like, you know, screw this. We're having a real man in the White House, and I'm not going to do what you say anymore. And she said, well, in that case, I'll leave. And he's like, there's the door. And she, and bye, bye, bye. I know. We didn't hear from him in this article. Because I wonder what he's, he would say. He's probably getting laid with someone much younger. Oh, I mean, usually. He is? Did you see the picture? I don't know. I think it's, usually when you see a 70-year-old couple, you know, they, when they have problems with their marriage, it's usually erections, not elections. Is <laughs> Ryan, hey, you like that? that <laughs> I didn't make any notes about that. I didn't even ah, think of that I one. I stuck it through. Not not you I, got it. Not only did I like it, I got a small e election out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging Chad? Ke Hanging Chad. <laughs> no, look, look, at those, look at those arms on her. Like, if, if my wife looked like that and she said, I, 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 I go... I'm going. I got my bus ticket. One way. I'm out of here. Fix your arms, and then I'll come back. Bingo wings, they call them. Oh yeah, do some those, big, those big grandma arms. I mean, unless she's a grandma, I think she is, but still. They're like bat wings. It. You can fly in there. Yeah. Guys, I know. Uh, no, I'm just cool. saying, after a while, you get sick of your wife, anybody. You just get sick of hey, them. Hey, I got news for you. It works both ways. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm Kevin, getting sick of your. <laughs> your no, my wife's already told me she's sick of me. There you go. So good. She put it on a post it today on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I got the tattoo. I got a tattoo. Anyway, the point is that people get sick of each other, so they're just like for, looking for an excuse, and that Trump's a good I one. I do agree with you, yeah. Trump's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't think Trump is actually splitting up marriages? That's all it. Well, listen, I don't what know is, what Trump's a doing. Wait, tell me, you know, you don't really have a problem with Trump, right? You kind of like him. No, I. What does your listen, wife think of Trump? My wife hates Trump, and then it, when I, I became, I always voted Democrat, and then I started to shift with the with the transgender bathroom issue because I was like, that's what switched you. Yeah, because I was like, please, we're, is that what we're worried about? Anyway, so then uh, my wife's like, you're not going to vote for Trump, so I, then, I, then I didn't vote. But now she's still like, whenever I say like, he's got a point. She's like, how dare you? And then I go, you're right, because I want to have sex that night. You know what I mean? So I, <laughs> I see. I count how. Is that the right term? That is, is the that term. the right term? Correct. Correct. Well, right time to use it. Whatever you have to do. Okay, <laughs>